Illinois and North Park from Charleston were underway. Eastern wins the opening tip. North Park will play man-to-man -man defense as Kiwan Clement sets it up for Eastern. Kishan Charles has the ball in the corner. Kishan coming off a 15-point performance, a season high in the game in Northern Illinois Wednesday night. And the Panthers turn it over on a traveling call on the first possession of the game, and that's kind of how things have gone for Eastern, averaging almost 18 turnovers a game. They've got the 10th most in the country so far. Wednesday night, the first time this year, they have made fewer turnovers than the opponents at Northern Illinois. North Park with the ball for the first time. That's Jalen Boyd with it in the lane. His jump shot comes up short. Charles gets the rebound, and here comes Eastern. Junior guard Kiwan Clemens out of Chicago, Simeon. Transfer from Triton Junior College. Panthers want to get the ball inside as much as they can. Their big man inside, Sammy Friday. Here's Charles with it. Now Rodolfo Belize with it. The freshman from Brazil brings it out to the top. Belize works in on the dribble, gets down low, and had it stripped away. Two turnovers for EIU to start the game. Gabe Johnson brings it up for North Park, finds Osborne, who missed the long shot. Rebound, though, recovered for Jalen Boyd of North Park. So the Vikings out of the CCIW will set it up. Record of 3-2. and two. They've won two games in a row coming in. Osborne with five on the shot clock, working against Friday. Puts a high arching shot over him and hits it. That was a tough shot for Osborne. He had to arch that high to keep it from being blocked, and he made it, and North Park's got the lead. Clements to Belize for Eastern Illinois. Now Clements, now to Charles. Three-point shot, it's in. Kishan Charles just hit three-pointer number 116 in his career. He's uh, one short of moving into the top 15 in career three-pointers made at Eastern Illinois. Panthers had the lead in the game for the first time after getting their first shot away. Took them three possessions to get their first shot. That's Jordan Boyd with it. Uh, Osborne, the leading scorer, back to Jordan Boyd. Recovered his fumble along the baseline. Shoots the turnaround and missed it. Osborne gets the putback basket, though, for North Park. 4-3, Vikings had the lead. Clements with the ball for Eastern. Averaging about seven points a game. Leads the team in rebounding and in assists from his point guard position. Friday, double team. That's a, becoming a familiar plan for the opponents to double team Friday at the post. Charles missed the three. Friday tipped the rebound but could not get it, and North Park clears it away. Sanders runs it all the way up to the corner for North Park. Missed the shot, and here comes Eastern with it. Charles leads the attack for the Panthers. He'll take it all the way, and a charging foul as he ran through Gabe Johnson, who was back on defense for North Park. Kishan Charles picks up the first foul in the game. First sub in the game will be the freshman we talked about in our pregame, Paul Bizamana, 6'8", out of Holtom City, Texas. He's averaging three points a game. He's going to replace Rodolfo Belize, Belize at forward for EIU. North Park's got the lead in the game, 4-3. to three. Vikings bring the ball up court as Eastern has already turned it over three times. Johnson with it in the corner, had it knocked away by Charles, and out come the Panthers with it off the steal. Clements will lead the attack all the way down. He lays it in. Ewan Clements with the driving layup off of the steal. Panthers take a 5-4 lead over North Park. Sanders has the ball for North Park on the right side. North Park out of Chicago, the north side of Chicago. This is Jordan Boyd up with the shot. That misses, and Clements clears the rebound, as he so often does. Really good defensive rebounder. He's fifth in the OVC in defensive rebounds, even though he plays point guard. There's a foul as the ball went into the post to Friday. He got fouled from behind by Boyd. That's Jordan Boyd. First foul against North Park, and the Panthers will take the ball out of bounds, lead the game 5-4. to four. Eastern just one win this year in eight games, and that was over a Division III opponent a couple of weeks ago. They beat Rockford University. This is the last game the Panthers play against a non-Division I opponent this year. After today, it's all Division I. In fact, the schedule really gets tough after today. Henry Abraham, the sophomore from Minnesota, misses from the top of the key, and North Park clears the rebound. This is 
Johnson with the ball. He's a junior out of Warrenville, Illinois. Went to Wheaton St. Francis High School. Got the ball off to Osborne, cutting to the hoop, and he made the layup. He's got all the points for North Park, and they lead the game 6-5 to five, as Michael Osborne has already got six points in the game. Osborne came in averaging 16 and a half a game. Well on his way to that today. Clements to Bizamana, the freshman for Eastern. Bizamana had a career-high seven rebounds in the Panthers' loss at Northern Illinois Wednesday. There's a drive by Abraham. Finds Clements up top for a three, and that's in. Clements has not been making many of those. With that make, he's 6 of 26, only at just over 20% on three-pointers for the year. But he hit that one to put the Panthers in front again, 8 to 6. Rogers with the ball. Mather Johnson for North Park. Guarded by Abraham and the Panther man-to-man. -man. There's a nice fake and drive by Boyd. Laid it in, but it won't. His second foul already. So he's out of the game for the Vikings. And Adam Bola has checked in inside. A 6'5 junior went to high school at New Trier. Eastern the ball. Charles will pop a three right corner. Comes up short. And the rebound comes off to North Park. Sanders got the rebound, and Osborne will bring it up for the Vikings. They've got a pretty veteran group. They've got three starters back from last year. Four of the top five scorers return for North Park. There's Johnson driving into the lane. Hamlin tried to block his shot. It missed, and Kishan Charles comes out with the rebound for EIU. Gets a return pass from Abraham. Puts up a floater that misses. They fight for the rebound, and Johnson touched it last. It's out of bounds to Eastern Illinois. This EIU team, not a good shooting team at all. 38% for the year. And so far today, three for seven from the field. Charles out of the game, and Dan Lures makes his uh, Lance Arena debut. Six foot four sophomore from Lebanon, Ohio. The original plan was that he was going to redshirt. He sat out the first seven games, but they took the redshirt off Wednesday night, played for the first time at Northern Illinois, and Lures in the game now for the first time at home this year. Bizamana. Over to Clements for Eastern. Under the basket to Hamlin. A couple of dribbles into the lane. Had it knocked away and out of bounds. <laughs> Panthers will keep it with 13 on the shot clock. Jermaine Hamlin coming off a pretty good game Wednesday night. 12 points at Northern. Averaging 6.5 per game on the year. Ball passed under the basket to Clements. Works from the right block. Up with the shot. Missed off the back. Rebound comes off to North Park. 8-6. to six. Eastern Illinois has got the lead. We have played a little over six minutes at Lance Arena in Charleston. Osborne, screen and roll. Passed it back to the left side to Jalen Boyd. His jump shot misses. Foul on the rebound against North Park. Sanders is going to be called for the foul on the rebound. His first foul. Panthers will get the ball back. Leading the game 8-6. to six. Jawan Clements will bring it up for EIU. Here's Henry Abraham, the sophomore from Minnesota. Ball goes at the high post to Bizamana. Tried to go inside, couldn't get the pass away, and threw it back out front. Abraham's got it. Now to Hamlin, low post. Nice feed into Bizamana for a layup. Good high-low worker. In this case, low-high work in the post. Hamlin got his first assist of the season, and Bizamana the basket to put Eastern ahead 10-6. Osborne's got it. Over to Jonathan Johansson, who's in the game for North Park. There's a knock away by Henry Abraham. He dives after it. It goes out of bounds. It'll be North Park ball as it rolled off the leg of Abraham, who showed some good hustle on that play. He'll come out of the game. Micah Schneiders will take his place. Micah Schneiders is a sophomore out of Yorkville, Illinois, averaging one point a game, six foot four, 185 for Eastern. Clements goes out of the game as well, and Chris Robinson has checked in at the point guard. Robinson's from Brooklyn, a 5'11 sophomore, averaging three points a game for Eastern. Osborne the ball for North Park, guarded by Robinson, who just came in. Down to five on the shot clock is all. Ball passed in the corner to Sanders, and they do not get the shot away. Amazing how many times would the uh, possession gets disrupted, like it did when Abraham knocked it away and chased it into the backcourt. They forget that the shot clock didn't reset. So when North Park brought it back across, they didn't have much time and did not get the shot away. Here's Robinson with it to Bizamana for Eastern. In on the low post to Hamlin. Powers it up inside. He'll go to the line. Fouled in the act. Hamlin will get two shots. I think it's Sanders. 
second foul on Isaiah Sanders. So two of the starters for North Park have got two fouls. And we have not even made it to the eight minute mark yet in this game. Here's Jermaine Hamlin. Good free throw shooter so far. 81% for the uh, product of Lincoln High School. Two shots here. Missed the first. Hamlin spent the past two years at the University of Illinois. Played pretty sparingly there. No doubt in practice went up a lot against Kofi Coburn the last couple of years, and that had to be an education. One more free throw coming up for Hamlin. 6'10", 235, a junior, and missed them both. Johansson gets the rebound for North Park. Still 10-6, Eastern Illinois. Osborne's got it. Guarded by Lures. Ball passed over to Carl Polk, who's in the game for North Park. Now Johnson for the Vikings. Now Johansson out of Stockholm, Sweden. Drives against Schneiders. Missed the running shot. Bola got the rebound, though. Feeds it out for a jump shot from the baseline that misses by Polk. And North Park guilty of a foul on the rebound, I think. Johansson's on the floor, but he's going to get called for the foul. First foul on Jonathan Johansson. His last name starts with a J, but Swedish pronunciation. He's a transfer from Trinity International College in Deerfield, where he played the couple of years. Eastern Illinois ball, 10-6 lead for the Panthers. Here's Micah Schneiders with it out of Yorkville Christian High School. Passed it over to Robinson. Now Bizamana's got it for EIU. Now Schneiders again. Shot clock down to seven. Lures with the ball. Lures gets it to Schneiders. Three to shoot. Schneiders passed off down low to Hamlin, but he won't get it away. Schneiders got into a good position in the first half. Marty Simmons, his first year as the coach at Eastern Illinois. 18th year overall. Coached at Evansville. SIU Edwardsville, and also uh, spent a year at Wartburg uh, College in Iowa early in his coaching career. Johnson working the dribble against Lures. Gets into the lane, forced up the shot, and Dan Lures will be called for the foul for Eastern. That's second team foul in the first personal on Lures. So a couple of free throws for Gabe Johnson, who's a 78% free throw shooter for North Park. A 6'4 junior out of Warrenville, Illinois product of Wheaton St. Francis High School. Spent the past couple of years at Ohio Wesleyan where he started a lot. Averaged 12 points a game as a freshman. And he's averaging nine a game right now at North Park. Abraham in for Robinson. Clements in for Schneiders for Eastern Illinois. Johnson made the first free throw. He's in the top 10 in the CCIW right now in both assists and in rebounds. And he made both free throws. So it's Eastern 10, North Park 8. 11.20 to go in the first half, and North Park sets up zone defense here. 1 2 2 zone. Clemens with the ball, top of the key. Now Abraham's got it out front. Now Bizamana finds Lures in the left corner, moves in for a 10 foot shot that's short. Rebound comes off to Johnson for North Park. Panthers off to a slow shooting start today, too. They're 4 for 10 from the field, which for them actually is above average. They only shoot about 38% overall for the season. Coming off a game at Northern Wednesday night where they only shot 30%. Three from the corner, Johansson hits it, and North Park regains the lead. They are ahead 11 to 10 as Jonathan Johansson hit the three-pointer out of the right corner. Abraham's got it for EIU. Now Clemens running the point. Now Bizamana swings it around to Lures. Lures is a transfer from... Defiance College in Ohio, Division III transfer. Clements hits a three. Second three-pointer already for Kiwan Clements, who's only got seven for the season, and we're in game number nine already. Puts the Panthers back in front, 13-11. Osborne guarded by Clements out front. Osborne on the take, under the hoop, lost the handle, recovered by Bizamana. Ahead to Clements, he's one against two, he'll attack anyway, lay it up and get fouled. He'll shoot two free throws. Clements got out in front and uh, had the defense backpedaling hard, so he took it right to the rim, and Johansson picked up his second foul. Third North Park player already with two fouls in the game. So here's Kiwan Clements, who's 50-50 on his free throws this year, eight for 16. Two shots for the junior from Chicago Simeon. Puts it up and in. 
He's already got nine points for Eastern. Bolise back in for Bizamana. Also Charles in for Lures for EIU. One more shot for Clements. Puts the free throw up and missed that off the back. North Park gets the rebound. 14-11, Eastern's got the lead. Just past midway in the first half. Polk's got it. Now Johansson playing with two fouls for North Park. Osborne, three-pointer, missed off the back. Bolise high for the rebound. Bolise is in the uh, top ten in the OVC in offensive rebounds. Averages about five rebounds a game. A freshman plays with a high motor. Gets it into Hamlin, who lays it in. Bolise will get the assist, and Hamlin gets his first bucket in the game. 16-11, Panthers up by five. That's their biggest lead here with nine minutes, 15 seconds to go first half. Timeout take. Eastern ahead, 16-11. North Park's got the ball. Osborne picked up the dribble out front, passed it to Bulwa, who drives against Friday. Nice little spin move, but he missed the layup. Rebounded by Eastern as Charles reached across the baseline to keep it from going out of bounds. Abraham up court in a hurry. Finds Charles over the Clements. Now on top of the key, Bolise gets it low in the lane. Nice seal by Friday for a layup. Sammy Friday's a big guy, 6'9", 250. And when uh, he gets you sealed off, you're probably going to stay sealed off. And Bolise made a nice entry pass to set Friday up away from the defense for a layup. 18-11 Panthers. Illegal screen call, an offensive foul on North Park. Michael Osborne, he doesn't know it, I don't think, yet. But he's been called for his first foul on a handoff play where um, as soon as you hand off, you become a screener. And if you're still moving when you make contact with the defense chasing the guy you hand it off to, the officials are pretty consistent about calling that an offensive foul, and that's what happened. So Eastern's got the ball on a seven-point lead as they work against zone defense. Panthers have not played a lot against zone this year, but when they have it, Usually hasn't gone real well. There's a turnover as Charles tried to feed it into Belize and it got knocked away. So North Park up with the steal. Jalen Boyd working down the lane. Lost the handle, but a foul called against EIU. Fouls against Belize. His first foul, the third against the Panthers. North Park will take it out of bounds. They're going to bring Justin Kidd into the game. He's out of West Dallas, Wisconsin, a 6'1 senior. Averaging two points a game. Kids a transfer from Rockford University. Ball passed in to Boyd. Steps back for a 19-footer. Air ball. Rebound goes to Johnson, and he got fouled. Ball came up on the original shot, well short of the rim, and Johnson reacted to it faster than anybody. Got to the rebound, and Kishan Charles fouled him. That's his second foul. So Charles, who had a good game Wednesday at Northern and made a three-pointer early today, now in foul trouble with 8-10 to go in the first half. Probably about to come out of the game. Gabe Johnson, two shots. Good with the first for his third point. Dan Lures back into the game for Charles, who goes to the bench with three points. One more free throw for Gabe Johnson. Averaging eight points a game, almost nine. Six rebounds, three and a half assists. So he's a very good all-around player. And a good free throw shooter. He made both those. He's four for four today. 18-13, Eastern's got the lead. Clements dribbling up top for Eastern. Bounced it over to Belize. Now back to Clements. Now in the left corner, Lures with it. He feeds a low post to Friday, who lost the handle, and it's taken away by North Park. That's turnover number seven already against EIU. Gabe Johnson from the corner for three. It's in. Seven points for Gabe Johnson. Jay Lane out of Eatonville, Florida. 6'5", junior, averaging seven points a game. Junior college transfer in his first year at EIU. Clements with the ball up top. Feeds it over to Abraham. Now back to Clements. North Park's out of the zone and in man-to-man -man defense now. Clements has it. Clements passed down inside and a foul. Tried to go to Friday at the low post. Carl Polk reached around him and got called for his first foul. That's 18 fouls on the Vikings, so Panthers in the bonus. Sammy Friday will shoot a one-and-one. One. He's a 57% free throw shooter. Sammy Friday is out of Jersey City, New Jersey. Transfer from Siena in his second year at Eastern. Missed the free throw, and the rebound comes down to Kidd. 
Panthers just one of five so far on free throws in this game. Osborne sets over to Johnson. Panthers in man-to-man -man defense. There's a drive down the lane. Shot off the glass and in. Nice bank shot by Carl Polk. And that ties the game up, 18-18, with seven minutes to go in the first half. North Park out of the man-to-man, -man, right back in the zone. A 1-2-2 zone by the Vikings. Abraham, deep three, straight away, it's in. Abraham had a tough night Wednesday at Northern, but for the year shooting over 40% on three-pointers. Puts the Panthers back in front, 21-18. Johnson dribbling against Lane. Trying to drive on him, ends up taking a step back three and makes it from about 24 feet out past the top of the key. Johnson's in double figures already, 10 points, and we're tied up again, 21 all. Clements to Bolise for Eastern, gets it on the low post to Friday. Friday passed on the wing to Lane, right back to Friday, about a step off the lane. Now Lane from the right wing, missed a three-pointer. Rebound taken off by Johnson. North Park trying to take the lead again with six minutes to go in the first half. Johnson's got a hot hand, tries again and missed it from way out. Friday got the rebound. Clements up court for Eastern. Chest pass in the left corner to Lane, 20-footer. Good, three-pointer out of the left corner. C.J. Lane with his first points in the game. Panthers back ahead, 24-21. Osborne to Johnson for North Park. Out of Jalen Boyd. Now Osborne will try to tie it, and he does from the right wing, a three-pointer. Michael Osborne's got nine points, and we're tied again at 24. Third time we've been tied. Clements will take a three and miss that one from the right wing. Justin Kidd gets the rebound for North Park, and now they can take the lead with a little over five minutes to go in the first half. Jalen Boyd with it, driving against Bullies, who took it away. I think Abraham might have tipped it. Ball on the pass ahead to Clemens, driving all the way down, laid it in. Clemens has got 11, leads all scorers in the game as the Panthers did a nice job that time to convert to offense when they got that steal, and Clemens got ahead on the fast break for the layup. Eastern ahead again, 26-24, 4.40 to go first half. Osborne gets the ball over on the side to Polk. Now Kidd. Cut off by Abraham and tried to pass it inside, and Friday is going to be called for a holding foul at the low post. First foul on Friday of Eastern. Chris Robinson, Jermaine Hamlin coming back in the game for Eastern. They're going to replace Friday. And see who else is going to come out for Eastern. Clements is going to come out. North Park will take the ball out of bounds. Johnson gets it into Kidd with 20 on the shot clock. Ball passed out front to Johnson. Johnson drives it through the middle, collision, and I think Hamlin is going to be called for a foul. That's the call, Jermaine Hamlin, for his first foul. That's team foul number six. They say the foul came before the shot, so North Park will take the ball out of bounds, and then they'll be in the bonus after this. Johnson, nice feed inside and a layup in for Osborne. And we're tied again at 26 as Michael Osborne's got 11 points for North Park. Chris Robinson's got the ball for Eastern, gives to Abraham. Police hands it to Robinson. Lane around the horn to Abraham, open 10-footer, misses from the right baseline. Rebound out of bounds here in the first half. Gabe Johnson over to Kidd for North Park against a man-to-man. -man. Ball passed inside and now thrown into the wing to Johnson. Looked like an errant pass, but Johnson kept it from going out of bounds. Jalen Boyd gets it to Osborne with eight to shoot. Osborne steps back for a 20-footer that airballed. Rebound, Gabe Johnson dives after it. They reset the shot clock. They end up with a held ball. I guess the original shot must have ticked the rim because they reset the shot clock. Held ball, the possession arrow will go to North Park. So 20 on the shot clock for the Vikings as they inbound it. 
Passed in the corner to Jalen Boyd. His twin brother, Jordan, has uh, been on the bench for a while with two fouls. Osborne's got the ball. Now Boyd, he'll take a three for the lead. Missed it. Hamlin gets the rebound for Eastern. Chris Robinson will bring it up for the Panthers. Tied up at 26 all with three minutes to go in the first half. Bullies open, top of the key. Three ball misses. Rebound comes off to North Park. Osborne runs the offense for the Vikings. Had a ball poked away. He's able to pick it back up in the backcourt. There's a spin move down the lane. Osborne missed the shot. Rebound goes to North Park and laid in by Boyd. Now check it. Bulwa got the rebound, laid it in. Adam Bulwa with a good rebound basket to put North Park ahead again, 28-26. Bullies hands at the wing to Lane for Eastern. Now out front, Hamlin. Now to Robinson. Chris Robinson right at the point with it, gives it to Bullies. Now to Abraham. Abraham pulls up at the elbow, jumper misses. Rebound, deflected inside, recovered by Boyd for North Park. Johnson brings it up. Vikings have the ball and a two-point lead with 2.05 to go in the first half. Michael Osborne, who went to high school at Proviso East. He's out of Broadview, Illinois. He's a sophomore, number one returning scorer on the team. Here's Kidd on the drive. He traveled as he pulled up and then slid his pivot foot as he came to a stop. Vizamana, Clements come back in for Eastern. Bolis and Robinson head to the bench. 28-26, North Park has got the lead. Clements brings it up for Eastern. He's got 11 points tied for game scoring honors. Looking at that zone defense for North Park. Abraham passed over to Lane. Lane skips it on top for Clements. A pass fake gets him open for a three that's good. Clements has already made three three-pointers and has 14 points in the first half. Panthers have the lead again, 29-28. That was a really good pass fake by Clements to cause the defense to shift and left him with a wide-open shot. Osborne gets it to Jalen Boyd out of Westchester St. Joseph. Here's Johnson driving against Abraham. Shot blocked by Bizamana. Goes out of bounds. It'll be North Park ball. North Park has got some players from some of the real uh, traditional Blue Blood high schools in Illinois. Westchester St. Joseph, Proviso East, New Trier. These are uh, schools that have got a lot of basketball history. Five to shoot for North Park. Osborne will take the three from the wing. It's in and out. Johnson got the rebound, though. And North Park will reset. North Park has got seven offensive rebounds already in this game. Johnson slipped, kept the dribble going. Now picks up the dribble. Three to shoot. They get the ball to Kidd. Takes an outside shot that misses. And Hamlin gets the rebound. Head to Clemens. Two on one with Lane. Feeds it ahead to Lane. He laid it in. Nice pass from Clemens to Lane for the layup. 31-28. Eastern's got the lead. And another good job for the Panthers to get into transition off that rebound. Clements leading the fast break. Down to 20 seconds to go in the first half. Shot clock is off, so North Park can get the last shot. Osborne holds it out front with 12 seconds to go in the half. Three-pointer with tie it at halftime. Eight seconds to go. Osborne works it to the left, passed in the corner to Kidd, four seconds. Kidd shoots off balance and misses. Rebound rattles around. Only played eight minutes in the first half and only made one basket. Man-to-man -man defense for North Park. Panther ball up by three. Clements with it. Goes across court to Charles. Up with a three-pointer. Missed off the front. Belize tips the rebound to Friday, who laid it in. Friday will probably get credit for the rebound and certainly the basket, but Belize kept it alive by tipping it. 33-28. Panthers up by five. Their biggest lead's been seven. Eastern and man-to-man -man defense. This is Isaiah's. Sanders with it for North Park. They've got their five original starters in the game as well to start the second half. Osborne, who had 11 in the first half, gives it to Jordan Boyd, who sat out most of the first half with foul trouble. He drives against Friday, who blocked his shot. Boyd got it back, forced it up, drew contact. He'll get two shots. 
Called the foul on Sammy Friday of Eastern. That'll be his second foul and the first foul of the half on either team. So here's Jordan Boyd. Got two early fouls in the first half and only played eight minutes. He averages 16 points a game, eighth in the CCIW in scoring. He's also averaging 6.6 rebounds a game. Made the first free throw. That's his first point today. He's not been a very good free throw shooter this year, only 42%. But for his career, a 65% free throw shooter. Missed that one off the front of the rim, and Friday got the rebound for Eastern. 33-29, Panthers by four. Friday passed it over to Abraham. Now to Bolise for EIU. Now Charles has it. Senior out of Wyandanche, New York. Abraham with it up top. Abraham, sophomore out of Cambridge, Minnesota for Eastern. Cross courts it to Char Clements. Nice feed into Bolise. Put it in, got fouled. Good reversal. A cross court pass to Clements made the defense shift. And then a really fast pass inside from Clements to Bolise for a layup. And Belisa will go for the three-point play as he just got his first points in the game. One free throw coming up for Rodolfo Belisa out of Espirito Santo, Brazil, a freshman. Puts it up, and it's good. Panthers have matched their biggest lead now, 36-29. Eastern's got the lead. That uh, basket by Belisa set up by an assist from Clemens. That was his fifth assist in the game. Johnson's got the ball for North Park. Pass it off on the wing to Sanders. Now Boyd's got it. Boyd burned his dribble. Passed it off to Sanders. Gets Jalen Boyd under the basket. He puts it up and he scored. Jalen Boyd able to get the ball in over Belize to make it 36-31 EIU. Belize gets it to Abraham for EIU. Here's Bolise with it. Now Clemens driving in, fired in the corner, and an offensive foul on Clemens as he passed off. He ran over Gabe Johnson under the basket, and Clemens called for his first foul, and Eastern commits their eighth turnover in the game. Good defense for Johnson, who's had a good game here. He's got 10 points for North Park and six rebounds, plus a couple of assists. 36-31, Panthers by five. We're early in the second half. Osborne trying to make the pass to get into offense. Gets it over to Jordan Boyd. Osborne with it out front. Ball bounced down in the left corner to uh, Sanders. Drives against Abraham along the baseline. Pass off knocked away by Charles. Recovered by Jalen Boyd who missed the short shot. Clements gets the rebound for EIU. Clements brings it up the court, slows at the top, lobs under the basket to Friday, who was held and fouled, and that'll be the third foul against Jordan Boyd of North Park. New face in the game for North Park. Osborne is out, and Nicholas Ramirez comes in, a 5'9 junior out of Temple, Texas, making his first appearance in the game. Eastern inbounding to get it in the corner to Charles. Takes a three, and it's not good. Rebound taken off by Sanders. Ramirez brings it up court. Passed it ahead to Jalen Boyd. And he'll set it up for North Park. Gives it to his twin brother, Jordan. Jalen is uh, quite a bit shorter than Jordan. Jordan 6'7", Jalen 6'4". This is Sanders with it for North Park. Gets it over to Jordan Boyd. Passed under the basket to Ramirez. Now feeds off to Johnson for a reverse layup. Good ball movement for North Park. And Gabe Johnson gets his 12th point. Eastern Illinois 36. North Park 33. 16.45 to go in the game. John Charles has it. Cross court to Clements for Eastern. Clements finds Charles inside for two. Another really nice pass for Clements. Just picked up his sixth assist in the game. 38-33 Panthers. Right now, Clements is really doing a good job of being the um, playmaker on the Eastern offense. Here's a drive by Ramirez. Cut off on the dribble. Pass it out to Sanders. Sanders takes it inside. Missed the layup. Friday got the rebound. Clements runs the fast break for Eastern. Clements takes it into the lane. Now backs away. Feeds it out to Abraham. Under the basket to Belize. He'll lay it up, but no, he traveled first. Panthers turn it over for the ninth time. Jermaine 
Hamlin in for Friday for Eastern. Also Bizamana back in for Belize. North Park is going to bring Osborne back in the game. He's going to replace Jalen Boyd. I think Jordan Boyd is also out for North Park. Yeah, he's out of the game as well. So North Park's got the ball. They're down by five, just under 16 minutes to go in the game. Osborne's got it, driving from the left wing, right to the hoop, laid it in. Osborne with 13 points. 38-35 Eastern. Panthers not able to pull away in this game. North Park still playing man-to-man -man defense. Clements has it for Eastern. In the corner to Charles. He'll attempt a three and hit. Kashan Charles with his second three-pointer. That's number 117 in his career. He's now tied with Josh Gomes at number 15 on the career three-point list at Eastern. And almost everyone he makes for the next five or so are going to move him up another spot on that list. There's a whole bunch of guys kind of bunched together on that list. At the other end, an answer, a two-point basket from Michael Osborne with an outside jumper. The Eastern 41, North Park 37. Down to 15 minutes left to go in the game. North Park in the zone, it looks like. Clements again for rather Charles. Another three, and he hit it. Back-to-back -back threes for Kishan Charles. He's got 11 points now. That one moves him into a tie for 13th on the three-point list. He's tied right now with J.R. Reynolds and with Emmanuel Dilley with 118 career three-pointers. Osborne driving, spinning, got to the rim. Bizamana blocked it. Rebound foul coming up on Eastern. It's Bull up here, high school, a 6'5 junior, came in shooting 70% from the field, third best in the CCIW. He's got two shots from the free throw line here. First one is short. He missed it off the front of the rim. Bull while playing in his 40th game, has made 14 starts, only one this year. Averaging eight and a half points, six rebounds a game. Made the second free throw. 44-38 Eastern Illinois. Henry Abraham brings it up court, looking at a 1-2-2 zone. Charles cross court to Clements. Clements gets it in the right corner. Three-pointer by Lane. Off the rim, no good. Bulba got the rebound. Up court comes Ramirez for North Park. He's going to take a deep three and hit from the top of the key. Ramirez had not made a basket this year, only in his second game, and he hit that one, his first basket of the year. He was 0 for 1 shooting before that. Here's Lane down the lane. Stops right in front of the rim, had it blocked. Recovered out front by Clements, passed into Hamlin, dunked it. Hamlin, when he caught it, was off the block to the left and made just a nice power step to the rim and dropped, dunked it home. Really aggressive move for Hamlin. It puts Eastern up 46-41. Ramirez driving. Nice pass off under the basket, but it's knocked away from Jalen Boyd. Rather, Bola, who got it back, passed it out to Johnson. Johnson driving down the lane. Put up a floater, no good. Got his own rebound back up, no good. Bola gets the rebound, and another foul on Eastern. Another flurry on the boards for North Park. They are got a nice edge in rebounding in this game. Bolwell will get a couple of free throws after that scramble at the offensive end. Bolwell just made one of two at the line. That one is good. He's got four points now. Johansson coming back in. Also Jordan Boyd back in. Also Jalen Boyd back in for North Park. One more free throw coming up for Bulwa. Puts it up and rims in and out. Clements gets the rebound for Eastern. Panthers set it up. They lead by just four, 46-42, with a little over 13 minutes to go in the game. Lane's got it. Out front to Charles. Now to Clements. He'll take another three. That's good. Kewan Clements having his best day as a Panther. Career high, 17 points. He's four for five on three-point shots. He's got Eastern ahead now, 49-42, matching their biggest lead in the game. Johansson hands it off for a drive by Jalen Boyd, puts it up and scored it. Hamlin tried to block it, but Jalen Boyd lofted it high enough to get it in over him. 
49-44. North Park does not go away. Every time Eastern threatens to pull away a little bit, the Vikings have an answer. Lane's got the ball in the corner. Abraham back out to Lane. Now to Clements. Now to Lane. Three-point shot. No good off the back. Long rebound with Abraham. Charles in the corner. Hit a three. 14 for Kashan Charles. He's got 11 of those in the second half. He's now four for seven on three-pointers. Panthers up eight, their biggest lead of the game. Osborne working against the man-to-man -man defense, gives it to Bulwa. Hands it off to Jalen Boyd. Charles on him. Now Jordan Boyd back to Jalen. Fakes a shot, dribbles in, pass to Bulwa, laid it in. 52-46 Eastern. Clements to Lane, straightaway three, in and out. Rebound taken off by Bulwa. And back comes North Park with it. Osborne brings it up court. He'll set it up against the man-to-man. -man. Bounced it on the low post to Jordan Boyd. Works in against the much shorter Clements. Hamlin blocked it, but a foul. I think it'll be Clements on the foul. Two free throws coming up. We'll get a timeout first. We've got 11 and a half minutes to play in the game. Puts it up and hits the front, rolls in. 52-47 Eastern. Clements brings it up court, looking at zone defense. Clements, top of the key with it. Passed in the corner, Charles up with a three, hit it again. Charles likes those corner shots, always has in his time at Eastern. He's got 17 points now. 55-47, Panthers had the lead up to eight again. Have not been able to ever pull past this point, though. North Park's always had an answer so far. There's Boyd driving against Hamlin under the basket. Reverse layup not good. Bulwa got another rebound. Passed out to Johansson. His three-pointer won't go. Jordan Boyd gets the rebound. Ham or Belize blocked it, and Eastern comes out with it. Another flurry, though, on the boards for North Park. Belize with an offensive end for EIU. Now Clements. They'll set the offense. 10.40 left in the game. Here's Clements, top of the key. Works in on the dribble. Lobs under the basket to Hamlin. Went for a dunk. Put it in. Got fouled. He went for the dunk. It kind of rolled around the rim and dropped in. It'll count. And Jordan Boyd called for his fourth foul. Got him from a three-point halftime lead out to an 11-point lead with 10 and a half minutes left in the game. North Park's got the ball. Osborne passed it over to Sanders. He drives in. Now right back out front. It goes to Boyd. Now Osborne. Nice screen and roll to Bulwa, who dunked it. Boy, Adam Bulwa has been impressive here. He's got eight points in the game and nine rebounds. He's knocking on the door of a double-double. 58-49. Eastern by nine. They pass into Hamlin and fouled as he turned to work with it. Had Jalen Boyd right behind him. And Jalen Boyd will get his first foul. His first foul, team foul number four. Out of bounds to Eastern. That's team foul number four this half against North Park. Ball lobbed into Bolis at the free throw line. Gets it over to Charles. Works around a screen. Free throw line jumper. Not good. Hamlin gets the rebound. Right back to Charles. They'll reset the offense. Eastern ahead by nine with 9.40 to go in the game. Here's Charles looking to drive it. Now finds the right corner, Char uh, Charles open, three-pointer not good. Rebound tipped around and controlled by Bulba for North Park. Osborne gets it up court to Jalen Boyd, drives in, stolen by Kishan Charles. One-on-one -on -one with Sanders. Kishan lost the handle, gets it back in the corner, pass it out to Abraham. He'll set it up for Eastern. So Kishan Charles engineered the steal, and the Panthers now try to take advantage. Clements with the ball for Eastern. Clements, left open top of the key, three-pointer, not good that time. Rebound by Bolise, up and in. Rodolfo Bolise with the putback basket. 60 to 49, Eastern Illinois by 11 again. Osborne sets it up for North Park, hands it off to Sanders. Now to Johnson. Johnson gets open off a screen for a three and makes. 15 points for Gabe Johnson. 60 to 52, Eastern Illinois. Clement sets it up for the Panthers. North Park out of the zone for now in the man to man. Clements on the drive all the way to the rim. Got it, got fouled. He'll go for a three point play. 
19 points for Kiwan Clements. His previous highest of Panther had been 12. So he's got a chance to get 20 for the first time in his career. He'll have one free throw coming up. Jordan Boyd returning to the North Park lineup. He's going to replace twin brother Jalen. One shot for Clemens, who's one of two on free throws today and 50% for the year. Clemens had a tough night Wednesday, one for 10 shooting at Northern Illinois, but he has um, been on his game today. And he made the free throw. He's got 20 points now. Eastern 63, North Park 52. Panthers have had a lot of three-point possessions in the second half. Three-point baskets from Charles and uh, three-pointers the old-fashioned way several times, too. There's a pull-up jumper by Osborne that misses. Bolise gets the rebound for EIU. Here comes Kiwan Clemens with the ball, kind of galloping up court. Now he sets it up at the top of the key. Hamlin will set a screen. Clemens pass in the corner. Abraham, his three is in and out. Bolwa gets his 10th rebound in the game. Osborne brings it up for North Park with under eight minutes to play. Osborne with it. Gets it to Jordan Boyd. His jump shot is in from 15 feet. First basket for Jordan Boyd. 63-54 Panthers. Henry Abraham's going to run the point on this possession for Eastern. Gets it to Clements. Clements lobs it and a holding foul. Hamlin was being held by Bolwa. He'll pick up his first foul. It'll be out of bounds to Eastern. We'll get a timeout first with 7.33 to go. Panthers have a nine-point release. Now to Clements. 15 to shoot. Clements left to the point with it for Eastern. Clements passed in the corner to Belize. Cross court to De Clements. He fakes. He drives. Takes it in. In traffic. Put it in. Got fouled. He'll go for another three-point play. Clements just scored his 22nd point. One free throw coming up for Clements. Two for three on his free throws today. Puts the shot up, and it's in. 23 now for Clements. Panthers have the lead up to 12, 66-54, their biggest lead in the game. We've got 7-10 to go in the game. Sanders has it out front for North Park, and a whistle away from the ball, and Eastern's been called for a foul. Fouls on Henry Abraham of Eastern, his first foul. That's six on the team, so North Park will take it out of bounds here. They'll be in the bonus after this. Gabe Johnson passes into Osborne. Osborne gets it out front to Johnson. Now passed it back, knocked away by Bolise, recovered though by Jalen Boyd, takes a three, got fouled, made it. He can go for a four-point play. Bolise tried to block the shot, got a piece of him, and Boyd played through the contact and hit the three-pointer. He'll have one free throw. North Park is shooting 55% in the second half. They're 11 of 20, and they've made three of their four three-pointers in the second half. One shot for Jalen Boyd, trying for the three-point play, or four-point play. It missed everything except the net. An air ball goes out of bounds. Panthers will have it. Eastern lead is 9, 66-57. Panthers trying to end a four-game losing streak. Pick up their second win of the season. Clements with it out front. They leave him open, but he passed it up, gives it to Charles. Now back to Clements. Going to leave it for Abraham out front now. All pass to Charles, 10 to shoot. Charles to Belize. Now to Abraham, five to shoot, drives in the corner, Clements, three-point shot, not good. Rebound goes back into the corner, recovered by Osborne. North Park brings it up court. They're behind by nine. Osborne passed it to Jalen Boyd, dribbles in and stops. Now back out it goes to Johnson. Over to Osborne for North Park, down to 10 to shoot. Osborne, illegal screen, I think, on North Park. I think it's going to be on Bulwa. Offensive foul called against North Park, and they turn the ball over for the ninth time as Adam Bulwa gets called for his second foul. Eastern also has nine turnovers, so the Panthers have done a good job limiting their turnovers 
in the second half especially, but really ever since the uh, first seven or eight minutes of the game. Panthers had a lot of turnovers early, but uh, not many lately. And just as I say that, the old broadcaster's jinx. Eastern turns it over, tried to feed Hamlin at the low post, and he fumbled it out of bounds. Had he held on, would have had a pretty easy layup. So under six minutes to play. North Park's got the ball. They're behind by nine. Osborne's got it. Dribbling around out front. Now shoots it from 19. Missed that one. Rebound North Park. Johnson, he's fouled. Marty Simmons has to really be upset by the 15 offensive rebounds North Park's got in this game. Eastern had really been a pretty solid rebounding team before today. They, they were, for the year, averaged a couple of games less than their opponent, but some of that is when you have a bad shooting percentage like Eastern does, you leave your opponent a lot of easy defensive rebounds. Gabe Johnson's at the line. He got fouled by Kashan Charles. That was the fourth foul on Charles. Johnson makes both free throws. He's up to 17 points now. Charles out of the game. Dan Lures in to replace him. 66-59 Eastern by just seven with five and a half to go. The lead was at 12. North Park has cut it back to seven. Really impressed by the way they played here today. Abraham with the ball for Eastern. Hands to Lures. Now to Clements out front. Clements fakes left, dribbles right, gives to Belize for a three. Got it. Big basket for Rodolfo Belize. He's got eight points. 69-59. Panthers had the lead back up to double digits. Osborne sets it up for the Vikings. Works around the screen. Drives it in. Bounced in the corner to Johnson. Johnson driving, runs into a player, and an offensive foul. Clements was the player who was set up defensively on the baseline. And when Johnson passed off, he crashed into Clements. Johnson called for his second foul. And North Park, their 10th turnover. So now 4.57 to go. Eastern's got the ball at a 10-point lead. Panthers can afford to be pretty patient right now on offense. And that's pretty much always their MO anyway. Henry Abraham brings it up court. He'll hand it off to Dan Lures. Now Clements with it. A lot of the offense has run through him today. There he goes again. Tried to pass off. It's off a leg and intercepted. He was trying to feed Hamlin. It bounced off the leg of a North Park player, and they came out with it. From the corner, Jalen Boyd connects. Three-pointer. His 10th point. 69-62. Once again, North Park cannot be put away so far. Clements sets it up. Hamlin sets the screen. Clements drives in. Off-balance shot, not good. Hamlin had the rebound. Back up and in. Hamlin with the left-handed bank shot. He's got nine points. 71-62 Eastern. Exactly four minutes to go in the game as Osborne sets it up. Passed it over to Jalen Boyd. Fakes and drives. Now back out to Osborne. Three-pointer from the left wing is not good. Rebound, goes out of bound. EIU ball, nine-point lead, under four minutes to go in the game. Clements has it, top of the key. Fakes the shot, drives into the lane, spins, up with the right hand, four, missed. Rolled off the rim, Osborne the rebound. Clements almost had his 25th point. Johnson runs it up court for North Park. Now backs it away to set it up. Johnson. Passed off to the cutter, Bulwa. Laid it in. No count. Offensive foul. Clements again took the charging foul. He's all over the court. If we had a player of the game, it'd be a no-brainer. It'd be Kawan Clements of Eastern. Bulwa just got called for his third foul and turned over by North Park. So 3.20 to go. Eastern ball up by nine. Panthers will be a little patient here probably. Bullis. Gets the ball off to Abraham. Charles, who has four fouls, is back on the court for Eastern. He's got the ball now. Bolise has it. Out of Clements. Clements passed on top to Hamlin. Eight to shoot. Ball pass to Bolise in the high post. Works in. Up from seven. Not good. Got his own rebound. Back up. Missed it. Hamlin got the rebound. Back up. Missed it. Rebound to Bolise. Back up. Fouled. 
So the Panthers get a flurry, and that draws their head coach, Marty Simmons, off of the bench to applaud that effort. Hamlin and Belize working the offensive boards. Belize will end up with two shots. So 2.46 to go. That, I believe, the fifth foul against Adam Bulba of North Park. And Coach Tom Slider is going to go to his bench and bring Carl Polk back in. Two free throws for Rodolfo Belize, fouled in the act of shooting. Puts it up, and it's in. This is ninth point. Belize's uh, high this season has been 14 against Rockford. He's got nine points, four rebounds, three assists today. And the second free throw misses. Rebound comes out long to Gabe Johnson, who brings it up for North Park, and he's fouled. As Belize made contact with him out front, picked up his second foul. So stops the clock with 2.43 to go. Eastern's lead is 10. And Gabe Johnson, who's 6 of 6 on free throws, will have a 1 and 1 here. Three players in double figures for North Park, led by Johnson with 17. Osborne's got 15. Jalen Boyd's got 10. Johnson makes the first. Vikings are 11 of 16 on their free throws for about almost 70%. Eastern only 6 of 11. They've actually done better in the second half after a really poor first half. Johnson made them both. He's up to 19 points. Full court press now by North Park. It's an eight-point lead for Eastern. They pass the ball over the 10-second line to Abraham. He'll give it off to Clements. He'll set it up. Two and a half minutes left in the game. Panthers will work on the clock a little bit here. Clements to Abraham in the corner to Charles. Gets on the low post to Hamlin. Takes a dribble. Triple teamed and fouled. I believe Polk will get the foul. That's his second foul. A couple of free throws for Hamlin with 2.22 left to play. Jermaine Hamlin. Hamlin, one of three on free throws. If he makes one of these two, he'll be in double figures for the fifth time in nine games this year. Junior out of Lincoln. Puts it up, and it's in. Third Panther in double figures today behind Clemens with 23 and Charles with 17. Charles has had 14 of his 17 in the second half. He was in foul trouble, didn't play much in the first half. Second free throw rattled in and out, and North Park got the rebound. So here they come, down by nine. Got 2.14 to go in the game. Osborne sets it up for the Vikings. Osborne works down the lane. Pass on the point to Jalen Boyd. His three is in. That cuts it to six. Closest North Park's been in a while. They're in a full court press. 73-67 with under two minutes to play. Clements cross courts it to Abraham. He passed it over the 10-second line to Charles, who faked a three-pointer and then brings it back out. Panther lead is six. Eastern has had trouble finding guys to kind of step up and be their go-to guy on offense. Clements has been the guy today. Finds Charles in the corner. Now to Clements with seven to shoot. Clements finds Bolise in the left corner. 18-footer, not good. Rebound to Johnson. North Park behind by six. They bounce it ahead, driving up court Polk. Blocked by Bolise. Rebound good by Polk. That's it to four. Closest North Park has been since halftime. Minute 13 to go. Panthers get it to Clements. Brings it over the time strike. 73-69. All right. Passed into Clements. He'll run the offense. 18 on the shot clock. North Park's in the 1-2-2 zone. Clements. Tried to feed it. It got tipped back to him. He's got the dribble going to midcourt with eight to shoot. Clements takes it to the left, gives Abraham. Now in the corner, Belize. Four to shoot. Passed in on the post. Intercepted by North Park. Knocked away by Jalen Boyd. Down court, Sanders. Missed the layup. Put back, won't go. Rebound by Polk. 40 seconds to go. North Park's got the ball. Down by four. They set it up. And they take it out front to Osborne. Man-to-man -man defense and a foul against Eastern. Dan Lures was guarding Jalen Boyd out near the top of the key, and Lures got called for pushing, and his second foul. So North Park, just what they needed, the chance to score with the clock stopped, and 33.5 to go, meaning the clock, the shot clock will still be in play when Eastern, if they get the ball back here. Boyd, one and one. 
Make it two shots. First one short. Big miss. One more for Boyd as Bolise replaces Lures. Well, Boyd can make it a one possession game with 33 and a half seconds to go if he makes this free throw. Second shot for Boyd. Puts it up. It's in and out. Rebound Hamlin. Big misses for Boyd. Panthers have the ball with 30 seconds to go. Charles gets it over midcourt. Gives it to Clements. Shot clock's about three under the game clock, and they foul Clements. Osborne called for his second foul. North Park's over the 10 foul limit. So it's a double bonus, two free throws for Eastern. So 24 seconds to go. Here's Kiwan Clements with two shots. The best he can do is put Eastern up six, so it would still be a two-possession game. First to two by Clements. It's in. 24 points for Clements today. Panthers pulled their rebounders off of the lane now to get him back into good defensive position and try to avoid a foul. Second shot for Clements, trying to put the lead up to six and does. So now North Park probably has to take a three right here. They're down by six. Osborne up with 20 seconds to go. Bolise knocked it away. Osborne got it back and drove in and banked it. Press with 17 seconds to go. Here's Charles to make the pass in. Charles inbound to Bolise. He's got some room as he dribbles up court. They fouled him with 16 seconds to go. Well, that's not exactly who I think Marty Simmons wanted to have to take the inbounds pass for Eastern. He wanted one of his guards, Abraham or Clements, I think, to come get it. But Bolise popped open early. He took the pass, and now he's got the two free throws with 16 seconds to go, and Eastern ahead by four. First free throw, Bolise. It's in. He's only a 52% free throw shooter for the year. He's got 10 points today. Second time he's been in double figures. Panthers up five. Again, Belize can make it a six-point lead if he can make this free throw. Dan Lures comes in for Hamlin, giving EIU a, a, a team full of uh, perimeter defenders right now. Second free throw for Belize. It's up, and it missed off the back. North Park's got the rebound. Here they come. Osborne over midcourt with 12 seconds to play. Dribbles it out front. Now drives it. Now nine seconds. Shoots a 20-footer that missed. Rebound comes out front. Down to five seconds to go. Boyd's got it for a three. That misses with one second to go.